Uh, hello everyone, uh, I am in the garage today because um, I'm going to do something a little bit different, hope you don't mind. Um, I'm not going to be turning anything today, I'm actually going to be making a blank. I've seen this done uh, quite a few times uh, on the internet and I've been searching and trying to find a way to make a blank um, out of resin and I can't seem to find much on there. That, don't get me wrong, there are videos on there but they're just not explained in the way that I'd like them to be explained. So I've been scratching around um, and I've got some stuff together. So I've got a uh, little pressure pot which I've just purchased. I'll show you that. So here's the pressure pot that I've got. Um, I'll put the link down in the description for it. Looks like quite a good one and again did a little bit of research and sort of come up with this one um, which seems to be kind of all I really need. I did need to go and buy this connection because it didn't come with this. So I had to buy this from a local uh, shop, screw that in there. So now that my um, hose goes on there, because it came with like a threaded one. And again, because I don't really know much about this sort of stuff, I didn't really know what to do. So went down to the shop, took it down there, and they said, right, yeah, you need one of these. Screwed that in, and now I can fill it up um, and uh, pressurize it. So the idea is to make a little blank. Um, uh, out of resin, and I've got these um, uh, here, which is like for the mixing uh, different colours for the resin. Um, I've got myself a couple of uh, pots, and I've bought myself some resin, which I got that from eBay, and I'll put that on the link below as well. So um, I wanted to try and put some of this uh, wood in there. This wood, burr is it worthless wood? They call it again. I don't really know where to buy that either and I can't seem to find anywhere to buy it on the internet. Uh, whether or not people buy it as a burr and then they chop it up to make it fit in the moulds, I don't know. I can't find any of the moulds either. And again, I've been searching everywhere, so no idea. So I've come up with these little plastic pots that I've bought. Um, this is a round one. So this would be quite a good idea, really, because a lot of people seem to be making square moulds. Um, uh, and it's like square blanks. Whereas, obviously, if you're going to put it on the lathe, it'd be ideal if it was round, right? So I thought, well, that would be perfect. So um, I'm not going to use this one today, though. I'm going to use this one because it's a small one, because it's a small project. And I want to see if it works first. It just might not even work um, to the way I want it to work anyway. Um, and the resin is quite expensive, as you know. So I'm going to just test it out in this one. This is a little, here's a little square pot. Again, it's not quite the mould. that Again, but I don't know really where to buy those. I've seen people make them. Um, and I'm going to try to see if I can um, make a mould uh, later on. So, let's get on and see if we can do this for you and uh, show you this quick video of making a, a bit of a blank. And then you can get that on the lathe. If it turns out alright, I'll get it on and I'll make something uh, out of it. Okay, so we've got the two pots here. I've started to mix in the uh, resin. Uh, that's part A at the moment in there on the scales. And there's 50 in there. There's a little tiny scales I got from eBay. So I need to put 25 now um, of the B in. Mix this up together. I'm not too concerned about the bubbles because this is what I've got the pressure pot for, um, which I'm quite excited to use really. So um, that's going to take out all the bubbles for me, I believe, if I do it right. Uh, some yellow into this now. Just a small amount I think I'm going to need. Not a lot. Oh, probably too much. There we go. And this is like a pigment powder for dyeing um, clear resin. Okay, so <clears throat> I've mixed these up now and I've gone for the uh, the pink, blue and the yellow. Now, I'm just debating whether or not to actually try and find a piece of wood and stick this into here. Or this one, I'm not sure which one to use yet. I think I might have got enough resin actually to probably use this larger one now. Um, I didn't really measure it out. Probably should have done, but... I mean, they're all the same amounts, but... Um, hmm... See if I can find a piece of wood put this in here. Okay, so what I might do here is uh, I might do, I think I might have enough resin for both 
ideas. Um, I found this piece of uh, wood. Not really much I can make out of that. I don't do pencils, so um, it's a little bit larger than a pencil blank. So I'm going to give this a bash. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil this up. And what I use is uh, just vegetable oil, well, sunflower oil this is, because then the blank will just slip straight out. And again, there's probably other products you can use, but this is just my way. Um, no real, uh, this is just the, uh, this is the way I've found works really well. And so it does work really well. Um, just as long as you don't, that should just drop straight out of there now, hopefully. If not, then well, these are only like a pound, 99p. So that's that one done. Uh, let's just do the little one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blank sort of just to the side, not to the middle. Just going to put it to the side so we get a bit of the effect on one side when we turn it, if that's going to work out well. Okay, so no doubt this will probably float up to the top. So I'm going to get some tape and tape it round once I've done with it. So that's going to go in there. Now, I'm just going to pour the resin in. Right, so put a drop of the uh, yellow in. Right, there we go. So that's um, set in there now. I only had enough to do that one with the wood in it, so I might mix up some more as I've kind of got all this out, just to mix up one without the wood. Hasn't quite gone to the top, but again, um, I'll probably just leave it as that, and you can see the effect that it has inside. Hopefully, I don't know if you can or not. Can you see that? And that sh hopefully should come out well. I don't know. We'll see. But I just that's that's how it's going to be in the um, when I set it in the in the pot. Uh, I'm just going to take that down a bit over here so that I don't uh, this doesn't rise up because it tends to do that. So I'm just going to. Uh, A little bit messy, but that will do as long as the wood doesn't move, and that's all I'm worried about. Okay, so it's going to mix up a little bit more resin. Okay, there we go. So I have mixed up another load, and what I have done, or haven't done, I haven't used any more powder. Um, I've just mixed up the resin, put it into the same pots, and um, yeah, it's come out okay. Didn't need any more powder. This might be a little bit more translucent though, which would be quite cool. Uh, it's not as thick, because uh, obviously I didn't put any powder in it. So yeah, so there we go. So I'm just going to fill this little pot up now. Uh, this has already got the um, sunflower oil in there. So a um, bit of the blue. Yeah, definitely will be a bit of translucent, I think, in there. A bit of yellow. Wish me luck. So there they are in the pressure pot. Uh, I'm just going to seal this up now and then we'll leave it and come back to it and see what happens. Right, so I'm pretty excited to see um, how this has gone with the pressure pot. Um, I've left it overnight so I'm just going to see um, what, it, um, what it's turned out to be. Hopefully it's going to be alright. Seems to hold the um, pressure okay. 
just seems to have held the pressure okay. I'm just letting the pressure out now via this little pressure release valve here. And you've got to be really careful with this because obviously it's under quite a lot of pressure in here so you know don't go unscrewing all these until the pressure's out. <coughs> you know make sure that the pressure is out completely before you start unbolting these. And again you know this is new to me but I've you know looked up on the internet about this sort of stuff to um, make sure I'm doing it right really. So I'm just going to now be careful and just undo these slightly. There's one. Is it going to pop out? Or not? <laughs> Should do. Oh, there we go. Well, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Look at that. It's a tiny little, uh, tiny little blank. I wonder if that that might make quite a nice little pot actually. It's not got quite the colours in it that I thought it might have though, because uh, you know it's not like a really deep blue and a really deep yellow. It's kind of a. Uh, but then this was a bit of a more of a faint one, so that's probably why. Let's have a look at the other one. Ah, this one looks a bit better. My wrapping. You can imagine what my uh, Christmas presents wrapping is like, can't you? This one looks a lot better. It's got the wood in it as well. Right, I had to tap this one out a little bit, but uh, there we go. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty cool, actually. I think that's going to look quite cool with the wood in it as well when I chop this off. So I'm just going to chop this off and clean this up a bit. But I think this could turn out to be quite interesting. Let's have a look. Right, so I'm done with these um, uh, experiments of the uh, resin. Um, and there we go. Um, not too bad, really. Uh, this one was always going to be a little bit weaker because there were, I didn't actually put any... Um, you know any product with it I just kind of mixed it up uh, with what was left in the pot but that could still turn out to be fairly interesting I don't know if you can see that all right there I think that might make a, a nice little pot and then this one obviously is a lot better so you've got a lot more color in here um, with the red and the blue the yellow and then you got the wood in there as well so that seemed to turn out okay you see that? I, it doesn't really look very good in the camera here, but or not? <laughs> there. So I think that might, you know, turn out okay. So I will use this in one of my one of my videos. We'll turn this into a little lidded pot and see how that comes out once it's all shined up, and then you'll got, get a bit more of a better feel for how that's really worked out for me. Um, I'm fairly pleased with it, considering it is, a, say, a first attempt at making something like this. So again, I know that there's gonna be tons of you out there that do this all the time, and you know, no doubt I've done something wrong, or or could have done it a bit better, and, and stuff like that, which I you know, totally understand. And you know, if there's any helpful comments, then brilliant. Please, you know, put them below so that I can learn from them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, because if I can make my own little blanks, I mean, these are quite expensive to buy as well. So uh, if I can make my own little blanks and round ones as well, perfect. 
you know, um, that's kind of half the job done for me on the lathe. So rather than having a square blank, I will make some more. Um, I will make some sort of like um, square blanks, you know, maybe something like this. Make a blank like that, which is, you know, again, square, but um, I'll make a few like that as well. But let's see how these come up. Let's see, see how these do. We get these turned on the lathe. But um, yeah, hope that was helpful for you. I'll try and put all the products and everything in the description below for you. Um, so that it sort of gives you a, a help if you're looking at maybe making some resin um, blanks and things. So uh, uh, yeah, it was good. Make sure you're always wearing gloves when you're using this stuff. Uh, be careful with the pressure pot, it's quite a dangerous um, item. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't exciting enough, I know we didn't really make anything today, but we will do. But I just thought it was quite a nice little video to get up there quickly, um, just to show you, um, you know, I had this idea and I thought I'd give it a bash. Cheers guys, bye bye.